Hello everybody, welcome back to another Bitcoin update. I'm Chris and today I'm going to do another update about what's happened currently for the Bitcoin price. And guys, you can clearly see that the Bitcoin in the last couple of hours, guys, reached the $27,800. And actually right now we are moving into a bull flag and I'm expecting for a furthermore pump to the upside by breaking this $28,000. And actually guys, I believe that we're going to have an another insane pump until uh, Monday. And on this video, guys, I'm going to explain you exactly with price targets where I believe we're going to get until that day if this pump, of course, is going to happen. So if you would like to know all these things and what's happening currently, is this actually, guys, the beginning of the bull run or it's actually a fake out which afterwards subsequently going to lead us back to very low numbers, which are also I'm going to discuss with this uh, potential scenario. And if you would like to know all the scenarios, all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video. Hey guys, before we continue, I would like you to uh, go on my Twitter and follow me because there, as you can clearly see, I'm updating you with whatever is happening within a day on the crypto space. And in a very uh, short period of time, guys, I'm going to start talking for best altcoins, the best gems, 100x altcoin gems. So if you would like to know these things, you should follow me on Twitter. And also, I would like to say here a big thank you to everyone who participate on my membership channel guys it's something that i appreciate a lot and a, a big thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you do to me on my channel and before we continue guys to our analysis let's mass 100 likes because with this way you're helping so much continue this journey and with a very simple process of daily like daily comments to share your friends to share your social media you're actually helping so much and appreciate for this help support from the bottom of my heart guys a big thank you to everyone and let's dive without losing more time straight into our video because as you can clearly see guys in the one hour time frame we have a beautiful formation of a bull flag and if you remember guys previously we had this forwards pattern and the time that we broke this massive resistance which was also uh, a resistance of a downturn movement because we had an insane pump over uh, $26,500 then we jumped back and under of this $25,200 uh, resistance area and um, actually we broke it uh, as a support and then we had it again as a resistance and you can clearly see guys that we were moving on this downturn movement which was actually you can count it basically as a fold watch pattern uh, and with a breakout of this resistance at $24,350, guys, we experienced this insane pump to the upside and if you remember guys exactly, I told you that if we're going to surpass this resistance at $25,200, which is one of the most strongest resistance for the Bitcoin price. Guys, I told you that we're going to get straight to the this technical price target of this forward pattern, which was the $27,000. And guys, we didn't even touch the technical price target. We surpassed it to the upside into the highest point, which was exactly the area of $27,800, which we close our Friday night. So today, guys, you can clearly see that we are closing the Saturday night and we have this consolidation phase and we are moving into a bullish territory. Guys, this kind of a chart is super bullish. I you should actually admit the truth because guys we see uh, some changes after these banks which collapsed half pump of this uh, insane pump was actually a real pump by big investors and of course the other half pump was by big whales who are uh, actually pumping the price and of course that's why you saw some uh, times uh, insane drop after a massive a massive pump because they're getting profits and right now we have all this hype and there is huge potential to touch the $30,000. Of course, there are lots of theories about the Buran is starting and all these things. Yes, it could be a potential scenario, but I'm expecting also to see uh, that in real time, okay? And to see something that from technical side, we will need to surpass the $30,000 and stay above it. And if this gonna happen, we will need at least touch the $35,000 and stay at that area. Okay, because if we're going to touch the $30,000, guys, and see afterwards, subsequently, a reversal, then we're going to remain on this bear market. And I have told you hundreds of times, and I'm going to actually tell it again, uh, that as you can clearly see, this $30,000 resistance that we have here, it was the previous biggest support area, guys, of the previous bull run. So, 
from technical side if we would like actually to call this chart bullish we will need to surpass the previous support which right now is retesting as a resistance the previous support of the previous bull run and we will need to surpass it and stay above it so technically in the bigger time frame we're gonna have uh, the beginning of the bull run from technical side okay only then as we are remain under thirty thousand dollars guys we are on this bear market so yesterday i spoke about the scenario that there is huge potential scenario to touch the thirty thousand dollars and then reverse back to a very low number of course in the area of twenty thousand within twenty five thousand dollars area and then of course if we're gonna get there we're gonna analyze with the current data if we're gonna get even lower than that but guys currently right now i'm gonna tell you my next resistance areas which we can clearly see we have a daily resistance at twenty eight thousand dollars and also we have a weekly resistance which is the twenty nine thousand three hundred and forty dollars uh level and you can clearly notice in the one hour time frame as i told you in the beginning of the video we have a formation of a bull flag and you can clearly see guys this is a beautiful formation of this uh, bull flag and if we actually implement the technical price target of this bull flag you're gonna notice by yourself that we have a technical price target guys close to twenty nine thousand dollars so uh, I believe you're gonna move through technical and I believe to be honest with you guys that according to all this bullish action that we have right now that we're gonna move through this bull flag I believe that we're gonna break this resistance of this bull flag at 20 at $27,600 area and also we're gonna break the $28,000 area and we're gonna get straight to retest the $29,350 uh, level okay and obviously there is huge potential scenario to go up to thirty thousand dollars to touch it to touch it and then obviously i believe that we're going to experience a big reversal i don't know of course how low we can get after this reversal we can actually see a touch point at thirty thousand dollars twenty eight thousand dollars and then re and then bounce up to thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, it can also be a potential scenario. Right now, the odds, guys, is fifty-fifty because you saw some adoption, and the thing that people untrust the global system and actually the bank system and start trusting the Bitcoin is super bullish, and that's why we cannot actually predict the next move in the short term. Also, the next week it's gonna we're gonna have the FOMC meeting, which gonna create lots of volatility on the bitcoin price so i cannot tell you with big confidence if we're gonna get uh, up to thirty thousand dollars or we're gonna see the reversal because it's gonna depend on the fomc meeting which i'm gonna analyze it tomorrow with exactly uh targets and rates so you have to stay tuned until my next video i did my tomorrow's video guys and right now i would like to show you only one indicator that it can actually witnesses that uh, in the monthly time frame guys we have the MACD indicator which is going for a flip and this is something that we should pay attention here because you can clearly see that this month okay we are still berries and there is huge potential and the next month april to have another rent candle but there is huge 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 potential scenario in the may of 2023 to see a flip if this kind of situation start uh, coming to the upside of course we're gonna have some pullbacks and some bounces but guys actually we should not ignore this macd monthly uh time frame because every time that we saw this kind of a flip to bullish territory on the macd guys we are experiencing massive massive bull runs so you can clearly see that right now we are getting close uh to this monthly uh time frame so let's see what's about to happen of course there is a probability to see flip to bullish and then we flip to bearish and gonna see a collapse so before i close the video i'm gonna tell you really fast what's my worst case scenario because i have been telling you for many months that my worst case scenario for bitcoin was the twelve thousand dollars within sixty thousand dollars and guys you should actually understand that i was talking for the worst case scenario worst worst case scenario for the crypto space not a normal scenario we saw a drop close to nineteen thousand dollars and then we had some adoption okay we had some adoption after the banks which collapsed and people trust the crypto space so that's why right now my feelings about my prediction is mixed 
okay and we should be realistic of this current situation guys because as you know on the crypto space it can happen absolutely everything and we need to realize that according to the news that's coming and emerging from nowhere okay nobody was ready to predict that because three banks collapsed uh, at the beginning of this insane global crisis that we are dealing right now that will have that much adoption so fast and that was something unpredictable uh, even for the moon boys okay and that's why uh, right now my my feelings are mixed and i'm waiting to see how we're gonna move on this crucial week from monday to friday and of course what's gonna be the outcome of the fomc meeting and then i'm gonna actually have more clear vision about the next move for the btc price so this is exactly my honest opinion guys and my real point of view on this current situation of the bitcoin price for the very short term we have the bull flag and probably gonna get up to twenty nine thousand dollars but for the long run and i mean in the next month uh, mid long run the next month i don't know exactly because i don't have clear view of the fomc meeting and how we're gonna move on this um weekend but have in your mind as we are remain under the thirty thousand dollars we are still on the bear market we will need to surpass it and stay above it this is exactly what i would like to tell you guys follow me on twitter because as i told you it's something that you're getting updated and also we'll start talking about altcoins and guys i'm preparing an altcoin channel which i'm gonna actually directly talking about the best picks uh for altcoins which can do up to 100x your money so uh, this is what I would like to tell you. We'll see you tomorrow with fresh updates. And until then, guys, your boy Chris out. Bye.